Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of the Green Wisdom Health Show. I'm Janet Lewis. And I'm Dr. Lewis. And we are hoping this show finds you guys doing well, staying out of the virus's way, and being healthy. And uh, with that, we've noticed a few of your posts with some pictures on it of things we thought we might should address uh, (laughs) called, Is Comfort Food Making You Uncomfortable? Because as good as this all is tasting, there may be some consequences coming down the pike for eating incorrectly. So Dr. Lewis is going to help educate us today and tell us about maybe some ways that we can try to stay healthier during this time because they are very much correlating people that are getting this to being unhealthy. So if you're new to the show, we're going to tell you ways that you can start getting healthy. If you're listeners of our show, uh, we appreciate you very much and going to make a special offer for you at the end of the show and um, have a couple of questions to answer. So, Dr. Lewis, now that you're all doing good over there and staying peppy and healthy, can you tell us how to stay out of the sugar bowl? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. (laughs) Yeah, I got the look on that one. Um, You know, a week or so ago, Jonathan said, you know, we were talking about stress on the Shooting Straight with Dr. Lewis Facebook group, which I wish more people would join because we have fun there. Uh, He said a little Blue Bunny would help. I said Blue Bell. I had Blue Bell last night, but I changed the microbiome in my gut. Uh, enough that it didn't really taste the same. And then uh, Brian down in Florida uh, kind of got in it and said Bluebell's a stress reliever. Well, I did Bluebell again last night. I've done some stress eating because, uh, well, there's much more good things coming out of people under stress, and there's a few people that are spitting a little more venom. And I, I eat sugar. You know, I'd, I'd much rather have sugar than alcohol when I'm stressed. But, and I've gained two pounds. Yeah, two pounds, and that makes me uncomfortable. And it's people that have a tendency toward diabetes and heart disease and or high blood pressure, which I think is the same thing as heart disease. They're the ones that uh, are much, much, much more susceptible to this COVID-19 and many other things. So, you know, but you've got to understand just because the media says it long enough and loud enough doesn't necessarily make it true because I just talked to a lady that – works in both of the big hospitals here. And she says, no, we're not busy at all. She says, COVID-19 is a thing, but it's about 90% smoke mirrors and not real. Um, You know, here's the thing, though. Why is the media pushing all this fear and death? I don't know. But I'm going to tell you, fear doesn't stop death. It stops life and life as we know it now. Worrying doesn't take away tomorrow's troubles. It only takes away today's peace, and I hope that you will remember that. And, you know, that being said, it's something that would be applicable anytime. Are you a viewer or a doer? There's so many people that's gathering information and not doing anything with it. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So if you're not doing, you know, because of the internet, there's a lot of viewers, a lot of people that are gathering information, not doing anything with it. So I would advise you to take action because the only thing that determines your health or destiny is whether you choose to live big, imagine big, and do it. Go big or go home is my advice to you. You know, I, I'm not really bold. And, and Rob up in Lake Orion, Michigan, love that guy. He talking about my mask on shooting straight with my crown roll made out of a crown royal bag and uh, he says i think you're the kind of person that uh, doesn't like the word can't i said you're psychic because i know i'm in charge of my destiny and i think well you know at my age i look back at all the things i've worried about and 99 percent of them didn't come true and the one percent that did come true wasn't half as bad as i thought it was going to be anyway so Folks, life's too short not to be having fun. And our job here, or our goal, Janet, and my goal is to help you be healthy enough to feel good, to have life, have life more abundantly, and feel good while you get there. 
feeling good, it's a lot easier to have fun. And isn't life supposed to be fun? Well, you know, one thing we noticed, you know, was Easter weekend, last weekend for us, and uh, uh, we had a a few family members over, one of them being our grandson, that, uh, you know, Dr. Lewis and I had pretty much cut out gluten. It's like it don't really exist in our house because it makes us feel so bad. Well, uh, my grandson made brownies, and there was no way that I could not eat a brownie after he made it, and Dr. Lewis had one also. And we noticed that it took us about three days to get past eating that one brownie of how bad we felt. And you don't think about that this food that you're making at home, I see these loaves of bread that people are making, and I get it, times are tough, the food, you've got to buy what you can, but maybe making some better choices without the gluten in it would help, and we're um, pretty excited about some new testing coming out that we finally, we think, have organized now to, to show people just how dangerous this is for them and what it's doing to their health. Um, but what we, we just couldn't get over how our, our respiratory issues got worse. Uh, food cravings got worse. Yeah. We're snorting and snotting. Yeah. Just from doing one brownie. So. Okay. I had two. Well, I had one and I had (laughs) one Mrs. Schubert's rolls, which I thought were so good. And it's like, well, golly, I'm paying for this now for days. So, um, (laughs) it's really not worth it. And then they do this study out of Italy that 99% of the COVID uh, deaths in Italy had underlying health conditions. Uh, More than 99% of fatalities from COVID occurred among people who had underlying medical conditions. And that came from an examination of 18% of Italy's COVID-19 deaths, which revealed that only three people who died, or 0.8%, had no underlying conditions. And on the contrary, nearly half the victims had three underlying conditions, while one-fourth had one or two. And you'd be surprised at what the number one rated problem was that they had, was, a, was cardiovascular disease. Uh, they had high blood pressure, which you don't think about that. They had diabetes, not the lung issues that you think that you would have. They, those come in at number four. The chronic respiratory diseases came in in fourth place. So you think it's just attacking people with weak lungs. It's attacking people that have, they're not healthy. And now, you know, they're talking about bringing in 5G. They're really working on this 5G. That's another thing that, you know, so people can work at home and have better high-speed Internet. That's also supposed to help bring your immune system down. So we're trying to get you guys to move and start being healthy. And and a lot of you, God love you, y'all have bought more stuff in the last month and a half trying to stay well. I'm so proud. We're so proud of y'all for trying to stick with your programs. And the people that have come back after an yes. absence of a little while. Yes. Thank you. You need uh, to. We appreciate the trust. Right. And you you need to stay the course. You need to make sure you stay well. It's time to start redoing those labs again. It's time to make sure that you're in optimal shape because the things around you are not. Be be a doer, not a viewer. <laughs> and, the, and the only thing you have control over is you. So you need to make it as strong as that, that you possibly can. But as, as you get better, you're being a good example, and your family's going to notice and, and take place there. I've seen some spouses that did our program reluctantly just because the other spouse got on board and got healthy. And, and it created a healthier lifestyle for the entire family. So, you know, that's a good thing. So, you know, some of the things, you know, we, we, Janet was talking about high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. So I'll, I'll just throw in a little bit of this kind of stuff. Um, y- you know, you, you know, I'm not a big fan of worrying about cholesterol, but, you know, that's one man's opinion. You always have to decide who you want to follow. Um, the thing about... Um, Lack of B-complex, for example, drives up something called homocysteine. That increases heart attacks because it makes cholesterol more likely to stick to the endothelium. The endothelium is inflamed. So it's not cholesterol that's the problem. It's the lack of B-complex. It drives up this. Homocysteine is a toxin. You know, we try to keep it under a 7 or so. Um, So, you know, that in and of itself can bring up your body's ability to have a better immune system. Uh, the environment, 
uh, inflames the endothelium, and that's why Janet said something about 5G. Whether that's true or not, uh, I personally think it is, but that 5G could be a bad thing. Uh, the environment inflames the endothelium, which guess where one of the most polluted places in the world is. It's called China. Their number one cause of death is respiratory illnesses. Jan and I have been in China, and you could literally, literally uh, cut the smog inside a five-star hotel down the hallway. It was horrible that you could see it that thick. Uh, they should have been wearing masks a long time ago all the time because that yeah. was ho- horrible. Yeah, I know why they have masks on there. Yeah, you know, and you've got all kinds of things that people say, well, I don't see it, so it doesn't exist. Well, you don't see gravity either, but it still works. You don't see the wind. You may see the effects of it, but you don't see it. you got stuff like fluorocarbons, phenol, toluene. Uh, man, if you smell it when you put your gas or diesel in your vehicle, there's an issue. Uh, formaldehyde, glycerin, pesticides, tobacco, mercury, and all of those are very direct toxins to the heart. So you have to think about your environment. It is polluted. The one time I thought I had a heart attack and I went to the cardio uh, the cardiologist out of respect to my regular MD, and he said, no, nah, you didn't have a heart attack, uh, but you don't need to take all those supplements. Well, it turned out I'd been having a lot of dental work, and then I read uh, the research on it. It said methyl acrylates used as dental bonding agents can cause heart attacks or symptoms of a heart attack without it being a complete heart attack. So I didn't have one. It just sure did feel like it. So, you know, you've got to have mental health. You know, there's the thing. Uh, During times of stress, instead of going to the Snickers and the Milky Way and the Bluebell, um, because Janet said this morning, did you eat a Milky Way? I said, yeah, because I put the wrapper in the uh, trash can and our dog got it. Um, So what you can do is is be be an uplifter. Uplift uh, people by texting a friend. Text a family member, say something nice. Uh, and I'm going to do a video for those of you that get that. I don't know where Janet puts it, but you know, I'm going to do a video about squeezing an apple or squeezing a lime. Of course, I may make a drink out of that one. I don't know. Uh, in traffic, I've noticed that I'm much more polite than I used to be. When you get idiots out, I mean, people that don't really are not aware and don't know how to drive, not idiots. Uh, I let them in the traffic. I wave at them. I smile. Uh, intentional moments of kindness, laughter, and I'll use me as the butt of jokes, but intentional moments of kindness. Uh, I just loaned out my generator yesterday because there's still several days later people without power, and they don't know that I'm just going to give them the generator, and that's the second one that I've loaned out that I never asked for back. Uh, of course, they'll be thrilled because they've not been blessed quite to the degree that Janet and I have. Um, you need to go outside and get out of your comfort zone and do something to make somebody smile. Uh, share a compliment. And, and, oh, 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 oh. This week, Janet opened up a letter and started reading it, and then she realized, oh, it wasn't addressed to Janet or me, and it was Alan from Maine. He's mm-hmm. a sweetheart of a guy. He's one of the smart ones. He's been doing our program for probably five or six years. But he went on and on and on about how he understood how important Brandy was and how wonderful Brandy is. And we have never, 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 never had a complaint about Brandy. We get so many compliments. And I'll tell you this, if you ever complain about Brandy, I'll think you're an idiot because she is as close to perfect as you can get. She's the one that saved sanity and done something nice for Janet and me. So, Alan, thank you for taking the time. Mm -hmm. To do that, Jonathan, thank you for taking the time to call me. Then you get, you know, I talked about, you know, Rob up in Lake Orion, Michigan, but then you got Gary up in Amarillo. You don't ever hear from Gary. Uh, He's doing a good job, but when I rarely do hear from him, he's doing something uplifting. So thank you for all that you do for us. It does make a difference. Kelly, our cheerleader from Alabama. I was disappointed when Janet took the call yesterday, and it was Kelly. It's like, okay. I never get to speak to any of these people, though, so I'm really excited to be able to talk to them sometimes because you always get all the fun. You get to do the interaction part. Absolutely. 
But uh, I wish I could have had a picture of Brandy's face when uh, she read that letter from Alan because it was she she kept it. I know she kept it because it meant that much to her. So you're making a big difference in other people's lives too, there, Alan. So thank you. Um, you know, we talk about eating better, and I know people go, "Well, I can't really afford to eat." good or well but there are things that you can do that actually um, help insulin resistance and I wanted Dr. Lewis to talk a little bit about intermittent fasting um, because you know people are conditioned to eat three meals a day and Dr. Lewis doesn't intermittent fasting also help you to lose weight if you don't uh, like maybe skipping breakfast and having your lunch and dinner with within a, within a six hour time frame say 11 to 5 yeah i mean does that make a big difference in in what their blood sugar does and can you explain a little bit about why that makes it different well I, I, yeah i think it does and it also helps your liver function better because of the the way the liver stores uh glucose uh, i think it's a good thing i just naturally do that i've never been a big breakfast fan uh uh, I'll get a cup of coffee, and I, then after a cup of coffee, I'll start talking to Janet. She's like a little songbird. She wakes up chirping and being very sweet. But some people that have problems with blood sugar, and I'm telling you this cause, because I'm one of them, uh, if they don't eat something in the morning, they feel bad, and they get cranky, and they get mean and sick. Um, you know, it, what do you recommend for someone that just needs needs to get by until lunchtime what could they do differently we sell a lot of the perfect plant protein for that uh and you really don't want to do anything that's carb or sugar you want to do protein and good fat so perfect plant protein we mix up a lot of the supplements and nutrients in that stir it up and drink it so it's not really a total total fast but it's fasting from sugars and carbs Jen and I don't really eat that much, and uh, like I said, I gained two pounds throughout all this. For me, two pounds is a big deal. Well, and the other part of it is that people are eating so late in the evening because they say to eat between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m., and, you know, now that a lot of you aren't working or you're working from home because before it was, well, I don't get home till later. Well, a lot of you are home all day now, so eating before 5 is a more reasonable uh, uh, achievement i guess now to say that you could do that because um when you stop eating three hours before going to bed it makes a huge difference in what your blood glucose sugar does yeah and you'll sleep better too so uh, you know you know me uh tara said oh i've got to get back to listening to your podcast i miss your voice and then she put a rabbit and then a hole uh it's like well it's better than something else so i'm gonna go down another rabbit hole so Here's the deal. Too much sugar, and we're talking about people that have a tendency toward diabetes, and that's way, way, way the majority of people, even if you're not into diabetes as diagnosed by your MD, you know, if you have a high A1C, 5, 7, or above, too much sugar equals fewer vegetables because it changes your taste buds, equals less zinc, equals poor taste, poor taste equals more sugar. Talk about a vicious cycle. So here's the deal. Lower immune system, you have to assume less zinc. And we've got a zinc that's very, very inexpensive. It's called Zinc Plus. It has a little bit of vitamin C. It has the activated B6, and it has the zinc, but it has copper, and this is the Trax copper, uh, bisglycinate chelate. And let me tell you what copper does. You know, you don't hear about copper very much. Uh, Copper is, uh, has, it does have a lot of functions in the formation of your bones, your hemoglobin, your red blood cells, works in balance with zinc and uh, uh, vitamin C to form elastin. So, hey, think, if you got wrinkles and old looking skin, you probably need the zinc and vitamin C. And I'm going to get to some more stuff related to that in a minute. Uh, It's very, very involved in the healing process. It's very involved in energy production. It has a lot to do with hair coloring. Uh, Don't try to take too much of that. You know, you shouldn't look like a copper penny. But it has to do with taste sensitivity, which is the same thing I was talking about with the zinc. Maybe, so maybe the women need that now that they can't get into their hair salons having copper, huh? Yeah, you <laughs> you, you need the zinc plus. Anybody that's 
about 30, 40 years of age needs it anyway. Any man that's 40 needs it just to be preemptive to help with prostate issues. So that's very, very important. So um, the other thing is we have something called a multi-element buffered C. I'm not a big fan of ascorbic acid by itself, the vitamin C. So this is put with calcium ascorbate potassium ascorbate complex and magnesium ascorbate and what that does it buffers it and keeps it from being too acidic it has uh, uh, magnesium which i don't really want to get into magnesium it, you don't get it out of your diet you, it just can't come up into the plants because it's not in the soil that much got a little bit of zinc but if you're taking this uh, multi-element and the zinc plus you will not overdose and it's got the copper you will not overdose taking both of them but it's got uh manganese okay you don't hear much about manganese either and that has to do with uh insulin and uh decreasing insulin sensitivity uh manganese think about this if you've got brain fog uh, you have a two little B1 or thiamine, and I've talked to a lot of you people about this. Oh, you got brain fog. You probably have a belly full of yeast. They're stealing uh, the thiamine or, or using that thiaminase enzyme that's messing it up. So for manganese, uh, that's essential for people with iron deficiency, anemia also. But it has to do with the working of the B-complex vitamins and gives you an overall feeling of well-being. Lowered manganese can contribute to heart disorders, thus what we're talking about, uh, you know, because heart issues and diabetes tendency can lower your immune system. So that would help with blood pressure issues also? It could. We always think about magnesium, but yes, manganese could, and you have to be careful because most supplements don't have it, but, you know, a a decrease in manganese can actually cause high cholesterol, hypertension. She jumped the gun. She didn't have notes. Yes, Janet has it all in her head. She's that good. It it can contribute to irritability and memory loss. So if I'm irritable, I hope Janet doesn't remember it. Uh, Muscle contraction, so think restless legs. Uh, Pancreatic damage, well, if you have pancreas damage, then you're not going to put out the insulin. You're going to have more of a chance of going toward type 2 diabetes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the multi-element buffered C. It also has uh, potassium and quercetin. You heard us talk about quercetin before, and I'm not going to go through it again. Uh, if you want to know more about it, go listen to one of our previous podcasts. We've talked about it, and yes, there's research about your body having a higher immune system and more of a resistance toward the booger bears that are out there, and it has reduced form glutathione, which is the master antioxidant. So multi-element buffered C and zinc plus, oh my God, but again... There's a lot of things we're out of. There's a worldwide, uh, the good companies are being slammed and can't really get the raw materials. So if you want some, you better order it because I guarantee you we're going to run out. And I got tickled at Kelly that called in yesterday because she's like, I can't find some of these things on your site. (laughs) I said, because the raw materials, uh, there's a big struggle for who gets what with these companies right now. And, you know, of course, we wait for only our good companies to restock some of these products. So there's only a few, a handful of them that we were willing to use um, to put that back on our shelves. And she said, well, you need to tell these people to stay out of my stuff. (laughs) So, uh, Kelly, we're working as hard as we can to make sure that we have your stuff in stock. And uh, that brings us to a couple of questions that we have here. So we can send it to Alabama. Yeah. So uh, we have one from Laura. That ask how we were holding up. And, and Laura, she's wonderful. She always keeps up with her health. She has got to be like our gold star patient for um, taking care of herself. She always does her labs when she's supposed to and sometimes even before because she wants to make sure she stays well. But her action equates into better health. And I've seen her on Facebook. She's gorgeous and she makes, oh, my God, gorgeous, healthy babies which may be a reason why she wants to be well because she wants to make sure 
that she has everything she needs for her daughter to be healthy too in in a mother. Um, she wants to know if the labs are still up and running. Yes, they are still up and running. You know, people have been scared to go down to the lab. Um, and from what I understand, the labs are not very crowded now, and they are taking a lot of extra precautionary measures to make sure that uh, you're not around someone that would be exposed to anything. They're being very sanitary as well. Uh, one thing we are offering to try to help you guys um, get in better shape and get get your test redone or get started is we're taking 10% off of the labs for this month only, and that's through April 30th. So if you're listening to this show late and it's past that, I'm sorry, but it's April 30th, 2020. So you so, need to be an action taker and, yes. and, and not wait to you know hear the podcast. Just yeah. get on it. It's our, it now. It's our COVID uh, discount <laughs> because we want to uh, offer you a way to start getting well. And for people that don't know about getting well, that basically entitles you to 12 different panels of lab at a very low cost that includes a functional medicine report, a consultation with Dr. Lewis, and a supplement recommendation so that you're not guessing at what's going on with your health and so that you can start uh, being optimal and being on top of the game and not just waiting for things to sneak up and grab you, which is what it feels like a lot of people are sitting here doing. It's like, well, you know, we're not playing that game. Uh, I'd love to know if anybody out there has gotten COVID that is one of our patients. I've not had uh, heard of anyone that has. Um, uh, most all of them are taking the things we recommended to them. I'm, I'm very curious to see how y'all are all holding up out there. So I'd I really love for y'all to give us some feedback. They're going to have a higher immune system, so a lower chance of getting it. So let me go back to Laura for just a minute. Mm -hmm. You know, I was reading something the other day about how uh, babies are affected by stress in utero. So when you're pregnant with them, uh, the less stress you have, the healthier baby you have. And Laura was wonderful about taking care of her baby. And, you know, I'm I'm here to tell you, uh, let's see, I've got a note here somewhere. Uh, what we eat is affected by our intestinal flora, which affects our blood glucose. That comes from Journal of Nutrition. So uh, we have actually a probiotic very, very specific to breastfeeding mothers. So mm -hmm. keep in mind that can take the stress off. And, of course, you want to do it while you're pregnant. But once you start breastfeeding, there's no anywhere close to a good substitute for mother's milk. You know, the, the, the formulas are, are like eating a Snickers, so try not to go there. And the other thing we've uh, recently got that we waited forever for was uh, our children's chewable multi. Grand kid approved. Yes. Yeah, so Finally. We had a kid, we gave it to this two-year-old kid to try, and her mother said, you just gave me a couple of them. I said, I know, it's all I had. And she said she started crying because she wanted more of them because they tasted like candy to her. So when you buy them, keep them up away from the kids. Yes. Don't don't let them OD on them. Super good. We waited a very long time to find one that kids yeah. would actually eat. And, uh, We've gone through a bunch that yeah, terrible. We finally have them in stock. And also I want to address another part of Laura's question that she asked about. Uh, it says our website says products are different. Can we explain? Um, and that has come up several times. Yes, we can. The The issue is, is that as these raw materials are being fought over with a lot of these large companies, they don't have time to put our label on, you know, our Green Wisdom Health label They're on the product. They're working 24-7, seven, seven, you know, all the time so trying they, to keep up. So they get some in and then they're right back off the shelf as soon as they get them in. So what we're doing is just literally buying them as soon as they hit their door trying to keep some of this stuff in stock so it is our products it is our what was on there with the label and um they're just got a different name but we're attaching it to the name you knew uh, a picture will be beside it if it is the exact same product with the picture beside it, it'll just have a different name and we're putting stickers on the lids of the name you know so that you won't be as confused. And Janet's actually pre-bought a lot of this stuff to the point that she's puckered up because of how much money she spent without getting the products yet. But that puts us higher uh, in line to get the stuff for you. Yeah, so we're trying very hard to keep things in stock. Um, Dr. Lewis, we're coming toward the end of this show. Is there anything that you would like to share with this show with our listeners to kind of keep them inspired and keep them moving in the right direction. 
Yeah, you know, I've mentioned uh, just a few of the people that inspire us uh, in in different ways and for different reasons. And I I think, you know, all things do work for good. And I think what's going to happen because of this is uh, we're going to realize that fear wasn't real. Uh, You know, within the will of God, there's nothing to fear. But I think when the dust settles, what's going to happen is we're going to realize how little we need, how much we actually have that we should be grateful for, and how the true value of the human connection. I'm still shaking hands and hugging people unless they're paranoid. And if they're paranoid, I slip up behind them and say, my God is stronger than that virus. And how important health really is and will be. Uh, And with that, if you're new, like I said, please go to our website, greenwisdomhealth.com, fill out the health survey, Please pass our show around. Subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. And keep an eye out for Dr. Lewis's little video that he will have on Instagram and Facebook shortly. Yeah, I've got a really beautiful face for audio. So, Janet, make sure I go on video, which I'm, I'm intimidated, but oh, well. And he's going to entertain you as only he can do. I'm a viewer, not a, I'm a doer, not a viewer. I promise you that. <laughs> you guys have a blessed week, and we'll be here next time on the Green Wisdom Health Show. Once again, our show has come to an end, but your hope in your health is only beginning. If you or a loved one are in need of a different outcome and are waiting for a brighter future, take the first step and go to our website and fill out the health survey. Please don't keep us a secret. If you know someone that could benefit from this podcast, please share this show with your friends and family. You're only one step away from a life worth living.